someone wants to know, is there an implementation guide for solution manager with Activate? So it, it is and it isn't. So solution manager falls into the category of the tools that are supporting execution of Activate, right? So depending on which version of functionality in solution manager you're using, but you use, uh, you know, standard uh, solution manager, you apply focus build. Activate is designed to leverage the functionality of solution manager. So solution manager gives you capabilities for solution documentation, critical component uh, of your implementation journey, uh, you know, capturing your design, capturing your uh, results of testing, capturing all those elements as you go through the process is critical. Uh, running testing, structuring testing, that's also done through Solution Manager. You will leverage change request management or you know, focus, ma uh, focus build functionality for supporting you in moving transports throughout your landscape. There's a lot of interplay that comes uh, into, you know, into the project when you take Activate and our ALM tools, whether that's Solution Manager or if you're in public cloud, Cloud ALM. We are designing Activate to take full advantage of Solution Manager. So, you know, setting up Solution Manager, that's the first thing that we do in prepare phase when we are setting up the project environment. And then we leverage uh, the ALM tools as we go through the, through the project. Uh, so that's, that's, that's one fundamental understanding that we all need to have you're not going to find Activate for Solution Manager. That, that's not how we think. Activate and Solution Manager work hand in hand, and they, they really work very closely. Now, if you, if you haven't looked at, and I'll, I'll do a little plug here for ourselves as well. If you haven't seen Cloud ALM, I do recommend that you take 20, 30 minutes of your, out of your day and go to support.sap.com slash and then go through the menu, application lifecycle management, uh, cloud ALM. There's a demo system where you can play around with cloud ALM. Uh, if you want to, you know, stand up a project, assign Activate to it. In cloud ALM, all those steps take about seven minutes total. There's no that's uploading. That's no, notification. And that, that's, that's just setting up your implementation project and getting everybody uh, everybody uh, a set of tasks that are pre-delivered there's a lot of improvement that that sap brought from learnings of what we have experienced with solution manager with customers and what is needed in cloud yeah. right in cloud the needs are different than in on-premise uh, there are certain elements that are, that are very similar but the way we are implementing cloud projects is different and I, I encourage everybody on this call to start dipping their toes into this cloud world. I know a lot of you are already doing that, but if you haven't done that yet, you know, start, start playing around with S4 HANA cloud trial environment. Get a feel for the solution. Look at how it's implemented. Uh, listen to you know, sessions with SAP S4 HANA cloud customers that are going through these fit to standard workshops very diligently uh, yeah. capturing the backlog, running their bi-weekly sprints. There, there's a lot of great stuff that you can, they can get access to without any fee, any, you know, any spending, nice. a lot of self-learning that you can, they can use. And of course, we are covering all these topics in the book. So if you look at chapter four, you will, you will learn about Cloud AI. I think it's chapter four. I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe it's three or five, but it's, it's close enough. <laughs>